Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn uh, as well rising. A uh, weekly tarot reading, August 26th to um, September 1st, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we're going to jump straight into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week is going to be the Devil card, which is kind of peculiar because the Devil is the representative of Capricorn in Tarot. So the next one which stands for the challenges is going to be the Nine of Wands, followed by the third one which represents the positive aspect of WOW of the week is going to be the, um, the World card. And then the, finally, we do have uh, the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, that will be the Nine of Swords. <sighs> it's uh, it's a week where you uh, how do you say it? It is a week where you pretty much finish something important for yourself. It's just I don't know, finish an important project, finish a matter into your family or into your relationship. It's going to be a big deal, all right? Something that bothered you for a long time, something that you tried to develop, for example, for a long time. It is a, uh, it's not just a cycle in life, it's a whole chapter in life closed now in the week 26th of uh, August to 1st of September. And it doesn't have to be bad. As a matter of fact, it's going to be exactly as you want it to be, okay? So I do hope, uh, Capricorns, that you very well know what you're doing because it's gonna happen, right? And if you don't know what you're gonna do, what you're doing, well, then what is gonna happen at the end of the day is gonna be a mess. So that being said, before we go more deeper into that and scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards one more time. Topic of the week is going to be the Devil card, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges here. This is to be the Nine of uh, Wands. Afterwards, this is the positive aspect of uh, the week that is going to be the world. And the final one, which represents the guidance, is going to be the Nine of Swords. So the Devil card, Capricorns, uh, this topic here or the whole week is going to be very um, abundant with uh, with power that you're going to have all right power to do exactly what you want to do you can do whatever the hell you want all right and and the good thing is that you're going to get away with it in the sense of that uh, you're not going to be interrupted will you have to suffer the consequences of course but with the devil uh, nothing or no one will be able to prevent what you are aiming to do. And for that reason, it will be very important that you know what you're doing, or at the very least, you are... <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> you are certain that what you are doing, it is what you want. So uh, this week, you will have the power to, fo to force those very... Uh, 
fateful circumstances and, and uh, circumstances which are to be decisive into your marriage, into your career as well, you know, in regards to the person you love or the person you like as well. So that card here gives you the power to charm the one that you want to be with, for example. This topic of the week gives you the power to take an uh, upper hand upon arrival. It gives you the power to fix the problems into your marriage, all right? But that should be you. I, this, this power should be utilized, all right? It, it is not going to exert itself on its own accord, which means that you need to be the driving force of creating the circumstances for these things to happen. And uh, the whole thing, like I said, can happen exactly the way you plan it and exactly the way you want it. The accompanied card is going to be the Queen of Pentacles here, Formation. It is a passive supporters that we do have. So it's all about you. It does, it does look like um, it. Does look like it. Uh, what I mean is that everybody will be happy regardless of, of how they end up at the end. It's, it's remarkable, to be honest. So let's say it's no different than capitalism, for example, because in capitalism, you know, uh, what do we do? We want to buy ourselves a home. So what we do to buy ourselves a home, we go to the bank. The bank lends us the mortgage. We pay the mortgage. We pay the bank five times the apartment you have, we have purchased. And we are grateful for the opportunity of it. You know, that, that's the irony of all that. So it's the same thing, you know. You force those circumstances, Capricorns, and everybody there works for you, or it kind of like has to obey the circumstances, and they are grateful for the opportunity of it. It's no different, for example, that you may be uh, set a charge of a specific project, and there is a really nasty and dirty work that has to be done. So you decide who, whom you should uh, assign to that work and you assign the person you want to assign there and they're grateful that they're going to do the dirty work. It's, it's as simple as that. But at the end of the day, like I said, you, you will face this, the, um, the consequences of, uh, of these actions. So be mindful of what you're doing. Yes, the devil gives you the power to do the things exactly the way you want. So for that reason, I hope you know what you want and I know I hope and I hope you know what uh, what you are doing. Uh, the challenges that you need to face here, it is the nine of ones and it's a simple, it is clear as day that uh, you um, are going to be uh, intoxicated by it, intoxicated by this drive, by this um, sudden clearance of um, having the things the way you want to have them. So what this is going to provoke in you, well, the sense of emergency that you want to rush, you want to push the things to happen as fast as possible. Uh, that's not exactly the, the way that you should proceed forward with the Nine of Wands into a challenging position. It does point that you can overlook severely certain things and while your end goal may happen exactly the way you want, it may uh, <clears throat> deliver more damage than you have than you have anticipated because when you win something you also lose something it's it's just the balance in nature okay and uh, like said it may hurt the peripheral uh, the peripheral environment of yours more than you have anticipated and it may have in the long term repercussions much more severe than you think of and and more than you know in general. The accompanied card here is going to be the four of wands, the formation. It is a active enemies that we do have. So, <clears throat> with the four of wands uh, and the nine of uh, with the four of cups, excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm so tired, guys. It's just it's ridiculous. So the four of cups and the nine of wands, formation still uh, active uh, active enemies. So with the four of wands and the nine, uh, the four of cups. Oh my God, the four of cups and the nine of wands. Right? Uh, it looks like that uh, you need to resort on your intelligence. The four of cups is the card pointing that you may dwell upon your powers in this uh, in this case, or upon your achievements, upon your um, what, what what do you say experience? Okay. While in the same time there is a, a much 
better way how you can capitalize on the end game here. I know that it does uh, sound like I am going ahead of the reading with these uh, with these cards, but it is the same thing what you need to do here. Think like a, uh, a uh, like a chess master, you know, three to five to ten moves ahead. You can do it, and that will be the best way how you tackle with the challenge of being impatient, of being premature, of being reckless. Uh, the next one, it is the positive aspect of uh, the week, and that is going to be the world card. So there is only one way we can say it. Whatever you go for, it's going to happen, okay? It's going to be the end of the chapter that you are straining toward, and then a, um, a new perspective is going to emerge very, very soon. So for that reason, when you finish something, make sure that it is 100% finished and you're not going to carry on certain responsibilities or burdens into this new perspective. The accompanied card here is going to be the um, the Emperor Formation. It is a passive neutrals that we do have. So you do, ha so you do have a, a lot of options to choose from, okay? Uh, of what this new, we do have a multiple new perspectives that you have the luxury to choose from which one you can go for. Um, <clears throat> The thing with these two cards, guys, is that you may have the impression that things are much harder than they has to be, or rather like the things are much harder than they actually are. So uh, that being said, you know, do not get intimidated by the um, by the overview of the picture, I would say, but make a, a small attempt just to see how things are working in a potential relationship, for example, or into potential project throughout the week, potential friendship and etc. etc. And you are to see that actually you're getting along with it very, very well. And the last card that we do have is going to be the guidance that Tara is offering to you. I already covered this card and it is about the consequences. Your actions are going to have a consequences. While you are going to get away with uh, achieving the thing exactly the way you want, right? There are going to be consequences, either bitter or sweet. I, under consequences, I don't mean it in a, in a bad way, right? So let's say you like a certain person so much you want to have a sex with them, okay? And... You do it without a condom, well, you got to suffer the consequences. You may get pregnant or if it is a woman, the woman may get pregnant. OK, so it's there will be consequences of it. Not necessarily bad. It's just an example here. The accompanied card is going to be the sun and those consequences are going to offer or rather like are going to have a huge potential of growth moving forward. Those consequences you will, are going to be or natural unfoldment moving forwards into the future. I do believe for you Capricorns that this is the week where you grasp your faith within your hands and you forge your future. So forge it guys with a uh, huge portion of intelligence and uh, calculation and dedication as well. Because at the end of the day, if things doesn't end up not happen because they're going to happen exactly as you want but if they don't end up exactly as you want it will be on you okay because you have the power to do them to make or rather like you do have the power to make what you want to wait what you want to make the way you wanted to make it so that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 26th to September 1st, 2019, Capricorns. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're gonna, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.